Hello and welcome to Breaking the Grid with me, Bon Bon B. I'm Bon Bon B, you're very, very welcome. Now we're into part five on what I'm going to call the modern age. Now if you've only just arrived and missed the first four parts, I do highly recommend going back and watching from the beginning. This is a tutorial in the style of a let's play, but it's not strictly a let's play because we're not actually building a city. All we're doing is laying out the road network. We started off with three small settlements where I figured the very first settlers would actually put down their roots and seeing how the roads would naturally evolve out and link up with each other from that those humble beginnings. So anyway, we're into the modern age. I've upgraded all of the dirt tracks now in two tarmac roads, with one exception, which you'll probably see a bit later on. The uh, the tarmac roads are all the very very base ones. Again, I'm not using any any special roads, no uh, no tree lined roads or anything like that. It's not about aesthetics. It's not about detailing. It's about the shape of the network and what sort of shapes the roads would take and whether or not they would be a grid. And so far, we've seen very much that they wouldn't be. So uh, anyway, here we are in, uh, this is uh, the fishing village and the farming community thereabout. I've removed all of the little farmer's cottages that were plopped down. I don't feel that they're really needed now. And especially now we're into the modern age where we do actually have that road connection heading off out to connect us up with the rest of the world. Even though it's not really connected to the rest of the world, it is just there symbolically. Um, we would now have road freight coming in from a bigger farms, more commercial uh, farms, and these little small holding type farms would become less important and will become more important for places to actually live. So what we're going to do here is we're going to be converting these farms into a residential um, a little, little community, I guess. I guess that's what we'll be doing. Uh, in terms of that one dirt track that I haven't upgraded, if we come back over to Riverdale, the uh, little uh, little village down by the river here, we had that one little bit of road that just led out into the water, which I figured was where people would be launching their boats from. Although these two rocks in front kind of like, I'm going to delete them. <laughs> there you go. This is where people were launching their boats from. <laughs> Straight into the rocks apparently before, but never mind. Uh, it's, not being, it's not about detailing. It's about using your imagination, stretching the imagination. So yeah, that wouldn't uh, that wouldn't have been upgraded to uh, tarmac because that is where the boat's launching into. It does make me think about this area and how it might actually have evolved as a town later on. But we will come back over here. We're not going to we're not going to skip to this. Also, we have Valleyton over here as well. This is a little area where I feel that I would like to be living. Uh, it's a lovely little area. Again, I've removed all of the little uh, little cottages were down here, but I have left in place the church. Uh, why not? <laughs> Give me one reason why I shouldn't have. But anyway, there you go. So yes, uh, villages are not quite often built around a church. Eventually, once you've got the settlement in place. So yeah, it makes sense to leave the church there. So, um, so yes, uh, things that would happen up here, I, again, I'm going to put the lines of terrain back on the uh, topographic uh, lines toggler mod. And uh, you can see that now in the modern age, little hills like this, where it used to be horse and cart, these matter less because we now have the automobile, which would take that road, that hill quite comfortably. Poor horse and cart dragging its feet up there or even on foot. That would be a bit of a climb. So in theory, hills like this now are not too much of, we're still gonna take the smoothest route. That's gonna be the thing. But uh, I don't feel that this would actually be connected up. It might, ex might have extended a little bit up here, but again, I don't feel that it would necessarily have connected up all the way across and round. Maybe it would have done. Your opinion might differ from mine. There is no wrong answer. Uh, and then uh, over here, I feel that uh, as a modern 20th century expansion, look at this, it's already pre-cleared of trees and this is a really good way of, of breaking the grid, is to look at the natural boundaries that have been set out by the original map maker. In this case, if we look at this and say for some reason, whatever reason, all of these, all this area is just naturally cleared, we could build roads into here. Uh, what I would do though, is because we're now in the modern age, we're not just building a house where we can, we will be doing um, some terrain leveling and stuff like this in terms of, yeah, we will have the modern technology to be able to do that. So, and the mass industry. 
So we might look at how to extend it. Probably I'm feeling this road up and into that area to extend Valleyton up into the hills. We've got all of this area here. And we've even got a chunk of land over here. I'm not sure how this would fit into the equation at the moment, but certainly, certainly along this ridge here, overlooking the uh, overlooking the river and the valley, would make a lot of sense to be an extension from here, assuming we can get the road over. Let's go back to the fishing village, though. This this is our main conurbation. So now we're imagining that this entire area has been cleared of farming. There's no point to uh, to continue farming this area because we have freight coming in. Let's have a look at these fields. So let's say Farmer Riley owned these two fields. His whole, his whole family owned this field and this field here. And I don't know, he was growing uh, parsnips and swedes and, and maybe had a, a, a few sheep in this little field or the other way around. Whichever, it doesn't matter. This was his land. Now... When everything came and he, he was not able to make a living from this anymore, he then sold this to a property developer for, to turn into housing. Just this little plot. Now, the property developer who bought this plot didn't own this plot, didn't own this plot or this plot. They just owned this plot of land. So what they would have done is they would have built roads in to fit around that. So let's have a look how we would fit this. This is... a even with modern roads this is quite a steep drop here so i thinking we, we would definitely be building in from about here so let's let's go into and now we're into modern days so straighter roads matter less so we're going to go with some straight roads so we're going to connect this in to fit into the field to about there and maybe uh, along the back of the field like so and maybe even a little drop down into there because we'd be able to use modern modern land uh, terrain working. And so we have our first. I know what I'm talking about. I do. Sorry, I've I've just got through a, um, an asthma coughing fit, so I'm just uh, I'm a little bit struggling today. If if you make that out in the mic, then uh, I apologise. But yes, so that one might be our very first little uh, residential. Um, uh, estate, for want of a better phrase. Now, um, what more? Well, all of the same would be happening over here. Depending on who owned which fields and how it would work, um, it would depend on how it would work. So I'm thinking this might have been a little... might have been owned by one family going around there and then maybe maybe a little cul-de-sac coming into there, possibly. I mean, I'm, I'm just being completely speculative here. It is not necessarily the... In fact, that's caused quite a steep drop there. So we're going gonna, gonna to get rid of that. We're just going to say that that would be something like this. And meanwhile, over here, there's the possibility that that would just cross over like that. And we have a nice little uh, thing in there. Now, maybe these, these farms here were owned by the same person. So now what we can do is bring from about here down to here and connect you over there using the uh, hedge as the center where the road would be. And then over here, again, I'm feeling that this road would just continue down the middle. Somebody's bought all of those fields and then maybe there would be a little uh, cul-de-sac or two coming off of these, possibly. Like such and maybe down to about there and again working with the field somewhere like that oh look at that oh that's sloppy <laughs> that's very very sloppy right there, there we go that's better meanwhile over here now this field over here that well, that connects in with this field, so I'm suggesting that this all became part of the same. And again, I think two of that. I've I've definitely got a setting off. Oh, there we go. Toggle road collision. Now there was a the problem. So yes, that would probably have gone somewhere like that. Not connecting with that one over there, but this one. This one will probably come up to about here. 
and who who would have owned it? well this this field would have been connected into from over here and I've got snapping on so we do that that's nice maybe a couple of cul-de-sacs coming into this field because it's a big field and again uh, perhaps one cul-de-sac coming down that way and this field over here may have had a couple maybe maybe one coming in from that direction and maybe one coming in from this direction a bit confused about what would have happened well this field definitely connects onto this road so maybe the entrance to this estate would have been actually through the old gate and down here that would make some sort of sense because there was originally a gate there so that would make sense i feel i think i tell me again if i'm wrong doesn't matter because there are no i've done it again haven't i look at that <laughs> there are no wrong answers as always so uh that field is done this field here would be maybe one down there what is it with me today and very strange very strange indeed and we'll pop that one over there so we've got a couple of cul-de-sacs going on there and there as well and this field definitely is connected in with this road would they have been connected up probably not because once again one field would have been bought from one direction one would have been bought from another maybe maybe in modern times they would have been connected in the in the latter modern times possibly uh, then we have a field over here which is quite long so we'll put that in there and we'll connect one of those in there as well this one stretches into here and this one stretches down here again it probably would be a little bit more organic than that one because of the shape of the field so maybe if we come to about there and then bend that there you go that's that's a bit more realistic a feel and again over there here this field here would be which way would it have connected in don't know this one there's definitely a chance of a road coming all the way up to the top I feel probably these ones would be just little cul-de-sacs to take advantage of the space there and there and probably in the same in the opposite direction going off here and here I'm not too worried about the terrain now I'm, I'm just uh, I'm just doing uh, I'm filling I'm filling the fields with these uh, these roads to see where, where the nat just where the natural areas would be so we've got this one over here this farm over here would have had a little road into it this farm here would have had yeah just an extension of the road in this one entrance is over here so we're going to connect that into there and probably a little loop around cul-de-sac like that to take advantage of the space and again we'll just do a couple of cul-de-sacs like that and like that filling out all of these fields with these roads to take advantage of the space right we have the old gate here so we'll go in through that gate we'll have one road goes off that way one road comes down this way again works very nicely indeed right uh what we've we got over here we've got more farms more fields even to build into do you know what this is quite therapeutic i have to say i don't know if it's fun to watch but i am i'm actually having fun actually doing it because these fields were drawn freehand just with whatever felt like it was normal and natural for a field shape and field size kept the field sizes fairly small back in uh, in the early building times because they were small holdings rather than large large farming areas some tiny little small holding farms over here as well so there's a tiny little field there there's going to be a tiny little yeah i'll connect that up there it's going to be easier 
there probably would be one road down the hedge there because those fields are way too small to actually work with meanwhile there's a field over here and there's a field down here and a field probably running down like that this guy couldn't have yeah i'll just pop it there that's fine i'm not going to be too perfectionist there's no point in being perfectionist and we've got a field over here let's say there have been a road coming into that gap there we have this estate over here which we put the lines of terrain all oh, the lines of terrain are on so we probably could have had a little uh, cul-de-sac there and there also could there have been one into the gap down there probably yeah no that's uh I managed to dig into the terrain a bit there but yes I feel that they're probably from about there probably what the hell am I doing here I don't know I don't know it's it's been a while since I actually built in anger so yes um let's let's not worry too much about that look away now guys look away now uh, we have this little space down here so we're going to do one into there and probably one into there as well okay um so i feel that we've filled have we filled out all of the farms here i think we yeah so we've done all the farms over here with a little network of residentials over here we can do the same into the small holding area over here so we'll have one of those one of those and uh, one of them definitely one like that this field has the gate here so i'm going to bring that in to about there and maybe yeah that'll do again i'm trying not to be too perfectionist because i keep saying i don't want to be too perfectionist and i still then end up going no I, I kind of want it to be perfectionist but yes so it would look something like that there might be a little dead end here this has a definite route where the road would have gone that way and there's the gate there and there's a gate there and a gate in here as well so this is all looking a rather believable and then over here the old paddock from the uh the old stagecoach company yeah i'll just do that and i think we're about there these these would then just have had sort of like little again because it's modern era these straighter roads matter less because structural engineers now have the ability to build straighter roads these aren't just meandering paths anymore these are well planned out i reckon we can have one going up onto that ridge there and there's probably room for one there as well so uh is that our our town pretty much done We've got some space down here now again this is the uh this is the commercial area i'm feeling this as a village green okay there might even be a village pond because of the uh the indent there i reckon there might be some some water in there you know uh but i i feel that this is probably the village green so we'll have a little I know, just a, a little road in for parking or something over there and oh, so i'll switch that on to about that right so i think that is how that might have emerged let's switch all these lines off and have a look at uh where we are i'm going to leave the hedges in i'm not again not worrying so much about the hedges they were our guides as to what the modern road layout would have looked like definitely not a grid city definitely not a grid city modern times so they probably would have taken advantage of all this area here as well so let's do that uh let's start off by popping a 
road. That's, it'll have to connect in somewhere. So I reckon it'll have to be onto there. And then we've got uh, loads of loads of potential space to build into over here. So we'll put one over here. And one over here. And one down there. Filling the space, not going into the trees, using the trees as a uh, way of making the build look a lot more organic rather than uh, straight lines of the grid city. So something like about there and somewhere into about that area there. How are we feeling about that? I f I'm feeling very good about that. Uh, got some space over here as well, so I'm going to bring you, actually bring you down to about here. And there might be room to get a little road up into there. And to about there. Okay, so that is, that I think is our road layout for our main town. That, to me, is pretty believable. And that's just through organic growth. So yes, whether or not it's going to handle traffic, be good for services, whatever. Well, it, we're not building a city based on that. <laughs> we're looking at the natural evolution of a city. Now over here, my thoughts over here, um, while we're still here and we're not at the end of today's episode yet, but we're getting close to the end, I feel, getting close to the end of the series. Maybe one more show after this one. And that is this, this town here. This was based around, originally when we settled this uh, we have fresh water coming in from this direction. We have salt water down here. We have access to the sea. Just a little bit of a sandbank going on here. And some quite nasty looking rocks. What if... What if... Now we're moving you know, to the 19th century, I guess. Uh, what if... We got rid of the rocks. What if... Wrong button. Wrong button. Trying to remember where the buttons are. Come on. Game is lagged. Right, I'll be back with you. What if... Which is a fairly low point. About there, maybe. What do we think? Yeah, something like that. Larger brush size. What if we dredge this area? Huh? You liking the idea of dredging this area? I think so. So we've got that, and we'll dredge that out, out through there, like so. And what I'll do is also, not quite that large, dredge that out like so. Right, so we now have a decent route in, not quite all the way in. We're going to need to dredge some more up here into that area there let's just let this thing fill out a little bit might get a little bit of flooding as this thing fills up possibly but uh, yeah I think we're I think we're about in place now so right I'm to pause the simulation again so what if this was dredged out this to me looks like a ship building area again again needs to be dredged a little bit more but I'm feeling this as be becoming quite an industrial area um, I'm not going to do the industrial build because whatever but uh, all this area here looks prime for uh, it be sufficiently distanced away from uh, the commercial area so yes uh, the an industrial shipyard area going on in this area here but we're gonna need to connect one side of the river to the other and this would have been before dredging the area, by the way. I'll mention that. I'm looking at over here. A narrow pass between the two sides. Are roughly at the same level. I say roughly. And I think we put a bridge in. I think. So let's go uh, back to the bridge tool. Slight lag in the game again. Straight line. And what we'll do is we'll pop... Hello. Hello, hello. So, <laughs> I, I, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. There we go. That's more like it. There we are. 
So let's pop a little, where are we gonna line that up? So somewhere about here, and then maybe, gonna do it straight across, something like that. Okay, it's not a straight line, but it'll, <laughs> again, not looking for perfection. I'm just gonna, uh, come on. Have I got, uh, oh, nodes and segments would help. Nodes and segments would help, there we go. And yeah, boom. So yes, that I feel is where the uh, bridge would be, thereabouts. And uh, again, far from perfection, it's just about location for me. But um, I'm happy enough, happy enough with it for this particular tutorial. Because it's not about bridge building. I've done bridge building tutorials before, haven't I? Right, uh, let's get the... Uh, let's get these squares off, shall we? Because I think it's time to get rid of them. Uh, we are paused, so it doesn't matter. I'm not worried about these little warning signs. So yes, that's where we're up to now. Uh, I'm really happy with this street layout for this, this old town. Uh, managed to stay away from the grid network. Certainly some of the more modern roads are more almost gritty, straight liney. But uh, that's how it would be. And then over here, uh, this town has room for a bit of expansion over in this direction for industries. And Valleyton over here. I think what we'll do next time around is we'll look to extend this one out in a modern in modern format into these uh, this area here to see what maybe a housing estate would look like in that area. Uh, finally, there is a little patch of land over here which is very clear. Um, I'll tell you what I feel was happened there. But that is it. Uh, we are very nearly at the end of this tutorial series. I hope you're finding it useful. I know I'm finding it very, very interesting to do. So uh, if it's interesting to do, maybe it's interesting to watch. Let me know in the comments. But that's it for today. Thank you very much for uh, following me back to the grid, breaking the grid. Uh, I've been Bon Bon B. You've been very, very welcome. Join me next time as we hopefully finish off this uh, transition into a non-grid city. I've been Bon Bon B and I'll see you very, very soon.